Buff Nation. What up? BWB. My Bad wagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Billion. Welcome to the Liberian Perspective. What's up, guys? I want to say thank you to everybody that's bought merch so far, guys. I thank you so much. My phone was blowing up with notification. People are purchasing the merch, BWB merch. People are purchasing the BWB merch. I really appreciate you. Our base is growing. The closer we get, the more positive news that we get, people start. I believe it and they want to be part of this community they want to be part of bwb okay imagine going to the grocery store with your bwb hat on or you are at work and you got your trp cup or your you got your bwb trp cup and you're drinking from it and other people start to recognize oh you bwb they want to be but they're just a little reserved because they don't know what's going to happen you can motivate them to be a part of this community so thank you so much for your purchases i really appreciate it guys the more you purchase and support this channel the more that i can afford to to buy those expensive tickets guys and the more that i can afford to bring you this free content thank you so much guys i appreciate you family do me a favor smash that subscribe button for me make sure to give me the thumbs up please don't forget the comment that's all the business i got you know what time it is let's work so in basketball it's a play you call the six man because only five players are allowed to be on the court at one time you have this player that comes off the bench that could be a starter, just like the people that are on the floor, but you can only have five people. He's just as good. He can start on any given night. So the NBA now has a sixth man award. The highlight of this video is Coach Prime's sixth man. Coach Prime has five coaches that are his sixth man. Five head coaches. I want to stress the importance of that. What I've come to learn is that in college football, the coach is the superstar. There's a lot of weight that's put on the coach. In the NFL, the number one guy is the quarterback. Teams will go out of their way to make sure that they secure the best quarterback that they can secure. Number two will probably be the coach. And then, of course, the running back, wide receivers, and then they kind of go down the line. But college football, the coach is the priority. They put a lot of weight on coaching. It's very important that they secure the best coach that their money can afford. Every university, they will go through hell and hot water to land the best coach that they can land at their university. Universities are so pressed for the best coach that they will go out of their way to hire the assistant of a winning coach in the form of Mel Tucker. Coach Mel Tucker was the assistant of Nick Saban at Michigan State some time ago, before he got to Alabama. So Colorado went through great lengths to try to land Mel Tucker because of his coaching pedigree. If you are a great motivator, if you are a successful coach, universities, if they have the money, they will spend everything that they can spend to make sure that you land at their university to become their coach. So coaches are very, very important. Because as soon as we say Alabama, we say Nick Saban. As soon as we say Georgia, the Georgia Bulldog, we say Kirby Smart. In Nebraska, we think Matt Rule. I wonder why people don't think that Colorado is going to have a successful season. If so much emphasis is put on coaching and the coaching staff, why is it that the University of Colorado is being projected to only win two games? I want to play this video. You guys understand, okay? When you look at the guy next to you, and you're going to battle, because that's what it is, is that you're going to have total <laughs> trust. He's going to know what he's supposed to do, i got to know what I'm supposed to do, and then we're going to go. Now, in this room, how many guys have left? Four guys. You understand? The four guys that left, I really don't give a <laughs> because you know what? They don't give a about you. And I'm telling you that. You could be their best friend. I really don't give a f But there's going to be a standard that's going to be set in this room that every single week, every single time we come out of our hips, strike with our hands, that we are going to destroy. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm a big guy and a big believer about these guys right now. They're Navy SEALs. They go through hell to protect us. And when it's a critical time, I'm just telling you this, they're going to send the seals in, and then they're going to destroy whatever it takes to protect us. Well, here's how it really is. Last year, how many yards did you give up against Air Force? Uh, somewhere between four and six hundred. Okay, four and six hundred yards. You understand that? How many touchdowns did you give up in the year? Ninety. 
90 touchdowns. Well, here's the bottom line, guys. And I'm not doing this about last year, but I'm telling you the difference is, is in the defensive line. Coach Cole has been in the defensive line in the National Football for a long time. And every time he had a great team, it was the guys up front taking charge and getting done what has to get done. The first thing we got to do is stop the what? Second thing we got to do is we got to affect the who? Right. The quarterback. Does everybody got me? So when I'm pushing you and I'm trying to get the most out of you and you look at me like you're a card carrying that's the only way I know how to say it. Just so you know that. Because I've been to war with big time players. Guys are in the Hall of Fame. And we had each other's back. And why I'm telling you this, because it's a smaller number in here today. We gotta get through this today, and we've gotta give it our all. It's really the last hard day in past. Has everybody got? Have we gotten better, Larry? Have you gotten better? Yes, sir. Can you take it another level? Yes, sir. What about you, sir? Yes, sir. Shane? Up, oh, did you get better in the last practice? Did you make more plays in that practice than you did all in spread? Yeah, you did, okay? That's what I'm telling you. Sammy, how about you? You got better. Why? Because you worked. You strained and you got your hands in people's chests. You created separation. And we got done with that again now. Okay, next slide. Read this, Shane. Inspired from the Navy SEALs. I will never quit. I persevere and thrive on adversity. My team expects me to be physically harder, mentally stronger than our competition. If knocked down, I will get back up every time. I will draw on every remaining source of strength to help my team to accomplish our goal. I am never out of the I am never out of the fight. Okay, who is that? Jason Lee. Pretty good player. All pro in the national football game. Tight end. And so guys, you heard Cordell some talk. And what you, these people are telling you, they're giving you stuff from their heart. He loves this university, but there's a lot of other people out there that love this university. For the first time in the history, they have sold out season tickets. For the first time in the history, they have sold out the spring game. Why? Because they're expecting something great. And when those people come into the stadium, I don't want to let them down up front. Everybody got me? And I promise you, I'm going to go out, just like I did at Alabama when I got to there. I'm going to go get recruit, and I'm going to recruit. I'm not just going to recruit that five-star. I'm going to recruit that guy that's going to come to you, Ty, and that has your back, that wants to play with you, and you want to play with him. So when we go out on the field, we got a purpose. Sorry for all of the colorful language that were bleeped out. I'm sure you can read between the lines of those bleeps. But as you see in that video, Coach Sal is a no-nonsense type of coach. Coach Sal is reminiscent of the big Hollywood football movies, like the Remember the Titans type of old-school, hard-nosed coaches who knows how to motivate young men to lead them into battle to win. Coach Sal is a natural motivator. He's done this before. He's been with the Nick Sabans. This is not Coach Sal's first rodeo. Coach Sal is one of Coach Prime's X Factors. Coach Sal is part of Coach Prime's sixth man. It's unfortunate that Coach Prime's X Factors are not being highlighted even more. And we understand why. You know, we don't have to keep beating that horse. We understand why that's happening. Your X Factor and your sixth man is supposed to be part of a prognostication. Prognosticators, if they're doing prognostication the right way, they're supposed to consider all of the elements that goes into prognostication because all of the elements matter. Because if you take one factor or you take an element out of the whole equation then you have to also take away w's or l's that's just how this works i wanted to highlight this because the six man was highly talked about coaching has always been the pillar of college football at least when i used to be a casual fan until i sat in this seat i know that coaching has always been the pillar or the cornerstone of a college football team they're still talking about coaching but for some odd reason, the whole idea of Coach Prime having all of these coaches around him is not being highlighted. I wanted to make this video for the constituents to let us know that even within all of the noise and all of the craziness that's going on, there is real football stuff that's going on. When you hear a person like Coach Sal motivating these kids in this room, it should give you confidence to let you know that real football stuff is going on even within all of the noise. I wanted to tell the base, I wanted to send a message to the base. 
bass. I know I've been talking about the detractors a lot, but my job here is to also allow the bass to see and hear some of the things that are going on so that we can stay positive, so that we can stay encouraged and continue to celebrate our team. Because we're locked in, win, lose, or draw. <laughs> I know somebody commented and they were like, Harry B, you know, I don't know, I guess something like you should be careful because all of this doesn't turn out the way you keep saying, people are gonna come for you. But if it turns out right, then you will be able to say, I told you so. I'm not in it for that. I'm locked in, win, lose, or draw. You can be one of those fans who are just too cautious to celebrate or to say anything publicly, or you can be a fan who just enjoys the process. I'm a fan who just enjoys the process. This is college football. This is not life or death situation. The big if we lose, we lose. That's it. That's it for me, at least. My life is not hung up on everything, oh, we have to win. No, I'm locked in, win, lose, or draw. I will come on here and I will make a video, the big if we lose a game, I will give an analysis on how we lost the game, what we could have done differently, and how we move forward. That's what I would do. And I would still celebrate. What I'm doing on here is celebrating the pieces. I'm celebrating everything that happens. I'm not gonna be sad and withdrawn just to be cautious. Oh, let me make sure I don't say the wrong thing because if we start losing, then people are gonna come for me. We sold out the spring game. Should I not celebrate? I'm celebrating. Many things are happening and I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating every single thing that happens with this team. I want Buff Nation and BWB, us newcomers, to celebrate every moment about this team. That's what sports allows us to do. Let's not be like the fans who are way too cautious to celebrate when something good happens. This team have been down for so long. So when a coach prom comes in and re-energizes the base, we're not going to sit down there and say, oh no, let's be cautious. Let's not celebrate too hard. Let's not say anything. Let's not prognosticate our wins. Just let them keep talking about us. Let them keep saying we're going to lose. Let's not say we're going to win just so we can be cautious. We don't have to do that. It's okay. The constituents BWB and Buff Nation, I'm going to give us information to inform us, to keep us in the know that real football stuff is going on here. Because if you see that stuff is happening, if you see the work being done, and then you say, let's have faith, then if you lose, you lose. It doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter if you lose or not. All you know is you celebrated the whole process. That's what life is about. Celebrating the small moments and the big moments will be even sweeter. You lose in life. <laughs> it happens. But we were 1 in 11. Y'all keep reminding us that we were 1 in 11. What do we got to lose? We ain't got nothing to lose. Coaches like Sal Sanceri, coaches like a Sean Lewis, Bartoloni, all of these coaches put together are Coach Prime's six man. Our X factor. It should make a difference. When you are doing wins and losses, it should factor into a couple of wins because that's how we properly prognosticate football or sports. You consider the players that are on the field. You also consider the organization, the school, how they treat the students and everything. You consider the coaches. You consider everything that is in the whole package to make a proclamation. But for us, it's not being done. It's all on the players and chemistry. You don't have enough time to make this happen. You changed over the whole roster. You got rid of all of those kids and you know those kids was good. Now they're good. You know those kids was good, but you got rid of all of them and you think you're going to win this year? That's it's not going to happen. I'm here for all of that. I'm here to say that, okay, you're considering all the negatives, but in prognostication, you're supposed to consider the negative and the positives, but you don't want to consider the positives. Your agitation and the hate that you're developing because of the hype is clouding the judgment that you will make in a fair proclamation. That's what a lot of my argument is. I'm only crying out to the football people, to the football talking heads, to the media, to saying the hype and the distaste that is starting to grow in your mouth about this team because you hear so much about them that distaste that you're like oh shut up already about Colorado and, and Deion Sanders just please shut up let them just go away already that distaste that you are developing in your football senses is clouding your judgment to make a proper prognostication media a lot of y'all are omitting things that naturally goes into prognostication you're just basing your whole entire prognostication now on just one one factor which is the stunk that's why i keep saying that we're not delusional because this is our constituent this is our team this is the team that we root for i'm here to give us the information i'm here to say hey listen let them make their proclamation let them omit those things but 
I'm here, TLP Sports Club. We BWBs. Me, Harry B, I'm not going to allow them to omit the things that they didn't omit before. I'm going to hold them accountable for the things that they're omitting because I know that the coaching staff account for at least one and a half or two games here and there. You usually kind of throw that. You say, okay, what are the other factors? Oh, the coaching, the motivation. Somebody like a Sal Sinceri motivating those kids on that video. You would say, okay, maybe we'll give one and a half. Maybe we'll give a half a win or maybe one game to that those two or three games that they have us winning are solely based on not necessarily us being good but it's solely based on the fact that those other teams are terrible that's all it's based on they're detracting from those other teams the games that we're going to win it has nothing to do with our factors nothing at all just so you guys understand that smoke screen it has nothing to do with us at all as a football team or what we have here it has everything to do with the fact that that other team stunk more than we do or they're bad and they just can't see them winning. So my job and what I do here on this channel is to give us information to say, hey, look at us. Look at this factor. Look over here. You're forgetting this over here. You're forgetting Sal Sinceri and other Alabama assistants that came from under Nick Saban in these rooms motivating our guys. Again, we're not talking about our maestro. We're not talking about our lead guy, Coach Prime. We're leaving him off this video we're just saying the sixth man. I'm only talking talking about Sal Sinceri today, but the sixth man. I'm not even highlighting Sean Lewis, who's our offensive coordinator and how bright his mind is. I'm just saying, as you see Coach Sal, as you listen to Coach Sal, and you see how, how much he means business, that should put confidence inside of you as a constituent, as BWB, to feel confident to celebrate. Don't be afraid to enjoy the process. We have all of the elements that it takes to have a winning team. These are the elements that if it wasn't coach prime and they didn't develop such a distaste in their mouth about seeing coach prime so much if the distaste was not there these are the elements that the prognosticators would consider so I'm tired of saying why you guys are not considering this. I'm just saying I'm going to come here and I'm going to give us the elements that they're missing. The longer you go, doubt can creep in. If you continue to hear the prognostication, the invalid, I emphasize the invalid prognosticators and prognostications out there. If you continue to hear them, doubt can creep in. That doubt can cast a shadow over our team. And for so long, that shadow has been over our team. And believe it or not, the fan base going into a stadium, not having any confidence or any faith in us winning, you can be a sixth man in the stadium that causes us to lose. I do not want you, the constituents, BWB, the fan base, to carry into the stadium any doubt that we're going to lose. When you watch football games, you hear the sportscasters, the announcers, when they talk about the fan base, they usually say some of the fan bases are the sixth man, like a Seattle, Washington, or certain football teams. Their fans are so loud and so energetic, they pump energy into their team. The way you think, your aura, your aroma, the way that you are, what you go into a situation can cause that situation to change. If you walk into a room with a bad attitude, I guarantee you that you're going to tint whatever was in that room. People's attitudes are going to change. If you walk in there with a smile, if you walk in there with confidence, you're going to affect the whole room with your confidence and your smile. And people will start smiling. I don't want us to forget that element as well. That's why I'm making this video to show us again another element to give us confidence that there is real football stuff going on. And don't forget that. Over all the noise, over all the inaccurate, unfair prognostications, all of the negative headlines, remember Coach Sal in this room today. Remember what he told these young men. These young men are now being infused with Coach Sal's energy. Even though those words were very colorful, I want you to remember the words and the motivation that Coach Sal is giving these young men. That information is being infused into their DNA now, their football DNA, so that when they step onto that field, you will have confidence that we're putting the best product that we can put onto that field to give us a fair chance to win. That's why I can sit here and make proclamations and be excited as I am. Does that mean that I don't have reservations that some of these teams could beat us? I have my reservations, but I'm not going to allow my reservations to stop me from celebrating and being happy about our process. So I'm happy about our sixth 
man, okay? We can join the coaches who are Coach Prime's X Factor and Coach Prime's sixth man, the fan base. We're going to be part of the sixth man because we're going to show up and we're going to show out. Boulder has million dollar houses. If you live on that side of town, you got money. So stop playing with me. You can afford these tickets. If Nebraska can travel, you can travel. We're part of that six man. You need to have confidence and you need to believe. Coach Prime has believe. I got believe subliminally in the background so you can see. You got to believe. We can't talk about that. That doesn't necessarily factor into prognostication, but it's a part of the motivating factor of the team to win. Once your confidence starts to go down and you stop believing, that affects the team as well. But that's why I just wanted to make this video today showing you guys that we're good. We're going to be okay. I want you to continue to believe, but I'm not just going to come on here and just preach, hey, believe. I want to show you with receipts. I want to show you real substance that that belief should be based in. Your belief should be based in something solid. Let me go ahead and put on the screen right now how many more days we got until kick off. Boom, right there. At the time of me recording this video, that's how many more days we got until kickoff. I want us to make sure that we do not stop believing. And I know a lot of the fan base because they've lost so much and now we've got so much energy going in this team. I know people out there are ready to rock and roll. I know our base, we cannot wait. We cannot wait till the season starts. I know people who believe in Coach Prime that can't wait till this season starts to, so we can start shutting some people up. In life, if you keep waiting for that big moment before you celebrate, you're gonna miss the whole point, the whole idea. Life is about celebrating every moment every single moment so don't forget to continue to celebrate to cheer on your team because we need the energy that energy is going to carry us all the way to victory with that being said i'm going to leave it right there guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you support me guys i can continue to make these videos thanks for watching you know who i am i'm harry b and that what you just heard right there was the liberian perspective tlp sports club Blah.